Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, this is a short little tutorial on how to embed a pre-flight profile in a document in InDesign. Um, I opened up a little document right here. Got 35 errors as you can see down here. I'll double click that to see what's up. And as you can see, there are missing links and missing fonts. Well, these are the errors that InDesign usually checks for in the basic pre-flight profile but you can actually have InDesign check any errors you want or remove these errors that InDesign won't give these as, mark these as errors anymore. What you do, once you have this little um, area open, you click on this and then you click on define profiles. As you can see, the basic one is selected right now, but we can make our own new pre-flight profile. We'll just call it new. And as you can see here, at the links and text, there are a few items selected. I'll remove this. So InDesign won't give me an error anymore when the links are missing, for example, or when the font is missing. Wouldn't recommend this. It's always handy to know which links are missing and which font is missing, but this is purely for instructional purposes. Okay, once you've got that set up, you click save, and then your new pre-flight profile has been saved right here. But what you do then is you click on this and you click on embed profile. And then this new pre-flight profile is embedded in your document. And that means that if you send it to someone else, then all the settings that you have selected will be marked. So any custom pre-flight profile changes that you've made, they'll see. And that's it. Um, as you can see here, the basic one is still selected. So I'll go here and I'll click on new pre-flight profile. And then we'll have no errors because we actually just um, made a new pre-flight profile that will check those errors. And um, that's it. That's how you embed it. You can double check here. Uh, you'll see embedded and then you're good to go.